this is the worst teacher ever. Welcome back, Charlie here. Think your teachers were bad? Well, I bet they were nothing compared to these teachers. From a teacher arrested for teaching drunk, to a teacher who put a hit out on their seventh grade student. First, we have to look at Brittany Zamora. In 2021, this teacher from Arizona, USA was sentenced to 20 years in prison. But what did she do to deserve this? Brittany was arrested for having a relationship with her 13-year-old student. She sent her student explicit text messages and even did real things with this kid. In court, she said, I'm a good and genuine person who made a mistake and regret it deeply. She also said, I'm not a threat to society by any means. But her victim's family did not agree and neither did the judge. So she was sentenced to 20 years behind bars for what she did. The surprising thing is when she was arrested, many felt sympathy for this woman. They said that because she looks good, the kid must have not been evicted. Victim. But of course, that's a ridiculous thing to say. A 30-year-old having a relationship with a 13-year-old is so wrong. But surprisingly, Brittany actually blamed her victim. She said her 13-year-old student was obsessive and very aggressive, and said their relationship was actually his idea. To make things worse, Brittany was even married to a man named Daniel. But of course, as soon as what she did came to light, they divorced. But you may wonder, what's Brittany doing now? Well, surprisingly, she's working as a teacher from behind bars. As community service, she's teaching other prisoners from inside prison. Some said she shouldn't be allowed to do this and should never be allowed to teach anyone again. The scary part is, she could have gone on doing this had her victim's parents not seen their Instagram messages. Just imagine being a parent and seeing your kid's teacher text him like this. Moving on, we have to look at Drew Dayhart. This is truly one of the scariest teachers ever. She put a hit out on her 12-year-old 7th grade student. This teacher from Florida got annoyed with one of her 7th grade students named Rodriguez Williams. She then asked her class of 8th graders to beat him up. She did this to teach Rodriguez a lesson. So a group of 13 and 14 year old 8th graders beat up this 12 year old 7th grader. All because Drew Dayhart told them to. Drew even said to her victim, I got my 8th grade boys on you, you're not so tough now. Of course as soon as this made the news, Drew was fired. But why did she do what she did? Well according to her, Rodravius said that he wished one day he could curse out some teachers. I have to say what she did seems like a massive overreaction. To make matters worse, Drew watching the beating take place was caught on CCTV, meaning that there was no way for her to deny what she did. And according to Rodravius, Drew never apologized for what she did. Moving on, we have to look at Jennifer Forshi. This teacher forced a student to clean a urinal with his bare hands. Jennifer believed the kid had clogged the urinal using toilet paper. So as punishment told him to remove the paper using his bare hands, exposing the kid to urine with no gloves. And to make things worse, the bathroom had no hand soap. She was actually arrested for what she did, and police said she showed no remorse upon her arrest. She was later released on a $1,000 bond, and after her release said, I did not do anything illegal. Moving on, we have to look at Linda May. This teacher named Linda May injured a 12-year-old student using a Pritt stick. The special needs student hit his desk in anger while he was using the glue stick. Linda then took the Pritt stick out of his hand and began hitting him with it, causing the kid's thumb to bleed. The kid said he kept trying to move his fingers out of the way, but Linda kept going after his fingers and thumbs, hitting them with the glue stick. Afterwards, the teacher from Wales apologized to the student, but she was still fired for what she did and ended up in court. She was later charged with assault for what she did. Next, let's look at Tonya Neff. This California teacher was arrested for a bizarre reason. She was found to be teaching a class while drunk. She was so intoxicated she had to be treated by a school nurse. Police believed that she'd taken pills in combination with alcohol. She was first taken to hospital and was later booked into jail. And she now faces possible felony charges of child endangerment. Unsurprisingly, this teacher was fired. I just hope she gets the help she needs. Moving along, we have to look at Christy Fitchner. In Winnipeg, Canada, this teacher was fired for giving her students a lap dance. The dance took place at a spirit rally and was supposed to be humorous, but after it was posted to YouTube, many parents were outraged. Students who were interviewed said they were in disbelief at what they saw. At first they were laughing and then realized it had gone too far. Christy said after this video went viral, she lost everything. She was fired from her job, lost her home, and even considered ending her life. The dance went on for about one minute. 
Some said this was all fun and games and in good humor, but most of the parents and school trustees did not find this funny one bit. I honestly feel kind of bad for Christy though. Is she the worst teacher ever or the best teacher ever? Moving on, we have to look at Yu Hajino. In 2005, this Japanese teacher ended the life of his own student. Yu did not get along well with his 12-year-old student named Sayano Horimoto. The sixth grade girl would often mock Yu. That's when one day Yu came into school with two two kitchen knives and a hammer. He confronted Sayano and tried to hit her with a hammer, but when that failed, he used the two knives on the schoolgirl, stabbing her a total of 13 times. After Yu did this, he called Sayano's father and admitted to killing his daughter. Yu was sentenced to 18 years in prison, but this was later reduced to just 15. Yu was only 23 at the time, meaning that he'll be a free man by the time he's 38 years old. Moving on, we have to look at Elizabeth Davies. This teacher was fired for spraying air freshener on Asian students. She said that her six-year-old Asian students from Bangladesh smelled of curry and then sprayed air freshener all over them. Of course, this made the children feel very sad and humiliated, and she was soon fired from the school she worked at in the UK. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the worst teacher in this video. If you want to see my short videos, then check out my shorts channel. I've been Charlie, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.